In a historic meeting with South Korean President Moon Jae-in on April 27, 2018, Kim Jong-un became the first North Korean leader to set foot on South Korean soil since the Korean War ended in 1953. At the Inter-Korean Summit held in Panmunjom in the demilitarized zone that separates North and South Korea, the two leaders pledged to officially end the Korean War that is technically still ongoing. The complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula was on top of the agenda as set out in the Panmunjom Declaration for Peace, Prosperity and Unification of the Korean Peninsula, which was mutually adopted and signed by both leaders. Reunification might be a long way away, but Korea has remained unified and independent for over a thousand years until it came under Japanese occupation in the early 20th century. After Japan's defeat in World War II, the northern part of Korea, which later became the Democratic People's Republic of Korea or North Korea, was occupied by the Soviet Union and the southern part was occupied by the United States, which went on to become the Republic of Korea or South Korea. Following the American and the Soviet withdrawal, the disastrous Korean War was fought between the North and the South between 1950 and 1953. The North was supported by China and the Soviet Union, while the South was supported by a United Nations force led by the USA. The fighting ended with an armistice in 1953, but no official peace treaty was signed to end the war. Under Kim Il-sung, North Korea's first president, the country adopted an isolationist policy, Jucha or self-reliance as the state ideology. In the 1990s, his son, Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un's father, adopted the Songun or military first policy, which prioritized the military over everything else in the state. This worsened the impact of the North Korean famine that led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands or even millions of people in the 1990s. Both North and South Korea hitherto have antagonized each other with their propaganda and the current developments have provided a rare opportunity to achieve everlasting peace. US President Donald Trump is expected to play a key role in the negotiations and South Korean President Moon Jae-in even said that Donald Trump should win the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts. President Moon is also expected to visit North Korea in the fall season. Can Donald keep up with Kim? Can peace trump war? If yes, we'll certainly be over the moon. If you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe so that we can reach a larger audience.